morning guys it is Wednesday can you believe it we've already made it to the middle of the week to Wednesday and it's a warm one out here at least in Bakersfield California it's gonna get to 106 today and it's a little warmer it's what 730 and I think it's in the 80s already I know we're gonna get out of here real quick <laughs> so um, but this morning as I was reading through my devotion, it was interesting. It, I was reading Philemon, and Philemon is, it's a book, or it's a letter actually, and it's just 25 verses long. And um, it's Paul writing to Philemon. And Philemon was, um, he lives in Colossae, and he is an owner, was an owner of a slave named Onesimus. And um, Onesimus, ran away from Philemon and probably most likely stole from him probably to be able to get away but um, then Paul met Onesimus and Onesimus found Christ uh, through the words of Paul through Paul telling him about Jesus about um, salvation and so the the letter of Philemon Paul gets it that um, let's see Paul uses Onesimus to deliver his letters to the Colossians and the Ephesians very important letters um, very important letters of encouragement to those people and to those churches but Onesimus has run away um, and Paul hoped that Philemon by writing this letter to Philemon Paul hoped that Philemon would forgive Onesimus and would see him as a brother rather than a slave um, and Paul talks about the change in Onesimus's life and his name Onesimus means useful, but at the time before Onesimus left, he was kind of useless, or when he left um, and stole, useless. But now that he, he is useful. Um, and Paul does not demand restitution. He doesn't say to Philemon, here, fix this guy or bring him back to your house. He says that um, he will take the punishment instead. So Paul says, I will take whatever punishment needs to be taken if you cannot forgive him. Bring the punishment to me. And um, so apparently this letter must have been successful. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been reading about it. Sorry, there's lots of bugs and lots of like pollen out today too. <laughs> anyway, um, I think the importance the importance you're like well why would this letter be added to the Bible I think it's a metaphor it's not a metaphor it's a an example of what was going on um, with thousands of those in the Roman Empire that were turning um, to Christ that were being transformed their lives were being transformed and so this was an example this was a needed example and it was also an example of um, of some of Paul being an advocate he was an advocate for Onesimus. He decided that um, Onesimus was dear and and deserved to be forgiven and deserved to be called a brother rather than a slave. And then um, I love verse 15 says, perhaps the reason that he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever, not as a slave, but a dear brother. And that always reminds me of, like, if you love something, you let it go, set it free, and it'll come back. But perhaps the reason he was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back forever, not as a slave, but as a brother. So I thought, so I thought that that was pretty important this morning. And then it, it made me think of how many people have been advocates in my life. And then... I encourage you to think how many people have been advocates in your life who has been an advocate in your life maybe that's something that you could journal today somebody that has been an advocate in your life somebody that actually the one thing they did how they advocated changed the course of your life changed the course of where you are at right now um, and who can you be an advocate for so again it goes back to that gratitude being grateful but then also paying it forward because um, God gives us that strength and he gives us that hope and because he God gives us that strength and he gives us that hope that we are no longer slaves but we are brothers we can be called something much more dear than a slave and we aren't trapped or um, owned that's a good one too so encouragement this morning 
let's go ahead and do some breathing. Maybe, um, again, find yourself outside today if you can. I know it's super hot. So if you can't, then maybe go by a window um, or, or, uh, or maybe go out for like three minutes or four minutes, grab some water, go outside and take a few deep breaths. Hopefully I'll get this on the channel before it gets too hot today. But let's go ahead and do some movement. Movement, movement, movement. Moving from side to side. Twisting that torso. Oh, and maybe swinging those arms. If that works for you, if that's available to you. Good, and maybe shake that out. And then maybe like tap it a little bit from side to side. Again, getting that movement. So I love that Todd Durkin always says, um, motion is lotion and movement is medicine. Motion is lotion and movement is medicine. So remembering that, it's motion is lotion means getting that synovial fluid moving through those joints, especially if you're achy, if you've got that um, arthritis, if you feel like your joints are stiff, super important. I know it feels like the last thing you want to do is to move, but so important to get that synovial fluid moving. Motion is lotion. Movement is medicine. And so that movement is medicine part, of course, it's physical, but we're also, what are we engaging? We're engaging those endorphins. We're engaging, like, we're engaging the dopamine. <laughs> we're engaging the oxytocin. We're engaging the serotonin and we're engaging the, the endorphins. So we're getting that movement as medicine, as that anti, that natural antidepressant, that natural energy. So let's go ahead and sweep our arms towards the sky and give me an inhale. And then exhale and press that down. And inhale and lift this up. And exhale and press this down. And inhale and lift this up. Let's hold our hands at the top clasp and then palms facing the sky. Good, and then go ahead and give yourself a nice little side to side right here. Imagining that rib cage getting even taller so you're making space. Each of those ribs lifting, opening up that torso, opening up those lungs, lifting that head. Let's inhale, we're gonna do our sighs. So inhale it deep and sigh it out. Remember, there's no one around. You can make your sighs as heavy as you want. Sometimes when I've got a lot on my mind or when I feel super burdened or super heavy, that sigh gets super loud and super like deep, super heavy. So do your sigh however you need to do today. Inhale it deep and exhale, sigh it out. Inhale it deep and exhale, sigh it out. And inhale it deep and exhale, sigh it out. Good, let's release our arms, let them float to the floor. And I should have told you this before, if you've got shoulder issues, go ahead and you can do this out in front or you can take your, just keep your arms to the side and you can still do that inhale and that sigh out. So, but that inhale, try and get those shoulder blades, if you can, up to those ears and then let that out. So again, if, the, if you've got the shoulder issues, there, that's your modification for that. Um, Let's do a couple more breaths, a couple more single breaths. So let's inhale and sweep this up and exhale and press this down and inhale and lift this up and exhale and press this down and inhale and lift this up and exhale and press this down. Good, roll those shoulders out. Motion is lotion, movement is medicine. Good, and roll that forward. I encourage you to. Todd Durkin, awesome coach, great podcast. He's got some good stuff on there. So it's a Todd Durkin impact show. And let's take it again from side to side. Maybe clasp your hands behind you, open up that chest, drop your chin, lengthen through your arms. And again, if your shoulders will let you. Holding a towel if you need to, holding a belt if you need to. Whatever you like to do, because we're opening our chest again so that we get more space for those lungs to fill them up. Inhale it deeply here. And exhale it out. And inhale it deep. And exhale it out. And inhale it deep. And exhale it out. Good. Now maybe take those heels to your glutes. 
Maybe lift those legs a little bit. Maybe lifting it up right here. Good. So let's inhale it up again. And exhale and press it out. And inhale it up. And exhale and press it out. Good, good, good. So I leave you today thinking about who has been an advocate for you, who has changed the, the way your life has gone, um, what are you grateful for, and who can you be an advocate for. So remember that you are seen, you are heard, you are valuable, you are important, you have a voice and you have a choice. Um, we can't control what's going on around us or what other people say or do but we can't control how we respond to that. We can control the information we choose to take in and we can control the words and the love that we choose to give out. So have a great day today, guys. Stay cool, drink a lot of water, hydration, 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 and get some movement. Motion is lotion, movement is medicine. You guys have got this day. See you next time.